This is Barbados, a stunningly beautiful Caribbean island, fully loaded with exquisite hotels, magnificent restaurants, and a fabulous coastline with crystal clear water and silky soft sand beaches. And as you enter the water, a natural coral reef that circles the whole island awaits. The moment you step below those azure waves, you're presented with a vibrant world of marine magic that starts right from the tips of your toes. But that's not what this video is about. Barbados is the perfect setting for this video. But it's not about Barbados. I chose this location because of its stunning beauty and abundant marine life. Everything you're watching in this video was recorded in just a few days on the island. When I hear how climate change is affecting our planet, I can't help wonder how much longer we'll be able to enjoy these sensational marvels of nature. So for me, it's important to save the memory to enjoy over and over again. That's why in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the same pocket-sized device you use every day on land to capture amazing moments like these below the water surface. I'm talking about converting your smartphone into an advanced underwater camera, capable of handling the crushing pressures at depth. And in case you're wondering, this review is not sponsored by anyone. It is based on my own research and experience, which I hope can benefit you with recording your own incredible underwater memories. So without any further ado, let's jump on in. To use your smartphone as an underwater camera, you need a waterproof case. These cases are designed to protect your phone from water and the incredible pressure that builds up as you go deeper below the surface. Choosing the wrong case that fails to hold up to the pressure could result in the case imploding and your expensive smartphone with it. As with anything you need these days, there's always loads of options and different models and brands to choose from. So, which case is the right one for you? And above all, will it protect your valuable and trusted handheld device? After researching dozens of cases, I ended up with these three options to choose from. First is the Oceanic Plus Smart Housing case for the iPhone. Unfortunately, there is no Android option available due to the Oceanic Plus app being specifically matched and integrated with the Apple Watch Ultra and iPhone. This case is made of a tough, impact-resistant, glass fiber reinforced technopolymer material. The material is designed to withstand the rigors of underwater use, including high pressure, saltwater and sand. It is also resistant to corrosion and UV damage. The case is also sealed with a double O-ring system to prevent water from leaking in. Additionally, the case has a built-in vacuum pump and leak sensor to help you ensure that the case is properly sealed before entering the water. It also doubles as a dive computer and gives real-time dive info right on your iPhone screen and is compatible with the iPhone SE second generation and above. It has a depth rating of 60 meters and Bluetooth controls the camera navigation using external buttons and is compatible with ultra-wide lens features on newer iPhones. It saves photos and videos directly to your iPhone Photos app or your Oceanic Plus logbook. You do, however, have to use the Oceanic Plus app to provide full dive computer functionality. It's important to note that the Oceanic Plus app requires a subscription, which is sold separately, and it's not a cheap case, retailing at $489. It is, however, a fantastic underwater case. Next is the Sea Life Sport Diver case, which retails for $349. The Sea Life Sport Diver case is a compact and lightweight underwater housing case for smartphones. It is primarily made from a polycarbonate shell, has a depth rating to 40 meters, and can be used with most Android models and all iPhones from iPhone 8 upwards. It has several features including built-in underwater color correction filters, and has several accessories available to purchase separately. Like the Oceanic Plus, it also uses Bluetooth to control the camera via the free Sport Diver app, along with large shutter and control buttons for operation and uses a vacuum pump system to protect the phone. Next is the Dive Volk Seatouch 4 Max case retailing at an affordable $199 from the Dive Volk website or £209 from Amazon UK. It is waterproof to 60 meters and is compatible with a wide range of smartphones, including the latest iPhone and Android models. It has a strong construction and is made from polycarbonate and aluminium body. 
There are also several add-on options such as mounts for attaching external lenses, lights, handles and other accessories. The real advantage is it has full touchscreen compatibility, so you can use all your phone's features underwater, just as you would on land. This is achieved through a gel-filled membrane that has a spongy feeling layer between your phone's screen and your fingers. It also has wireless charging compatibility, so if your phone supports wireless charging, you can charge it while it's in the case. Overall, if it's just a case you need, then the C-Touch 4 Max is a great option for anyone who wants to take their smartphone underwater. It is affordable, easy to use, and offers good protection for your phone. After careful consideration of each case along with their individual features, I eventually came to the following conclusion. In terms of full protection and ease of use, the Oceanic Plus Smart Housing case is by far the superior case with a strong, solid body, and is packed with well thought out, designed and easy to use features. It does, however, need to pair to the phone using Bluetooth, which we all know can go wrong sometimes, and also means you have another device you need to charge. The Dive Vogue C-Touch 4 Max also stands out with their polycarbonate and aluminium body. But I did have a concern about the soft gel membrane and how that would hold up at depth and whether it could be accidentally punctured. For ease of use, the C-Touch 4 Max ticks the box for me as it allows for full touchscreen operation, meaning that there's no need to use an app or have to pair the case with the phone using Bluetooth. There's also no need for batteries or charging or vacuum pumps which just makes me nervous of what will happen if the pump malfunctions or I forget to use it. In terms of affordability, although the Oceanic Plus is a trusted name, it's an expensive case at $489, but you do get a lot with it. If you don't already have a dive computer, then I would definitely recommend this case above all others. It does, however, only work with iPhones, and you do need to consider the subscription, which Oceanic have made available to purchase on an annual, monthly, or a day pass basis. I do think they could go one step further by also offering a weekly pass. As for the Sea Life Sport Diver case, it is very similar to the Oceanic Plus in terms of having to use an app, Bluetooth and a vacuum pump, but it doesn't stand up to the Oceanic in terms of quality or features. It is also not cheap at $349 and doesn't have a dive computer. It does, however, offer support for Android phones. I decided to go with the Dive Volk Sea Touch 4 Max, and since this video is not sponsored, it fitted my budget at only £209 on Amazon. When it arrived, I noticed that it would be easy to block the lens with your fingers when filming, so I designed and 3D printed my own extension handle, which gave me a good comfortable grip of the case, and I included two shoe mounts for external lights as well. Dive Volk do offer two handle options for either $49 or $99 on sale, but I thought I'd save myself a few bucks, and it looks cool too. If you end up buying the Dive Volk, and have a 3D printer. Then I've included a link to the STL files in the description. It has however been designed to fit the case with the add-on lens expansion clamp, so please keep this in mind. I printed it on the Bamboo Lab X, one carbon using the Bamboo Lab PET CF filament, which is a blend of tough PET and carbon fiber. The grip was printed using the Bamboo Lab TPU filament, which has a nice rubbery feel to it. While diving, the case did live up to its promises, and I had no problems with leakage, fogging or phone operation. I will however admit that I only took it down to 18 meters, and never had a chance to test it to the full 60 meter depth. Still, it did allow me to operate the touchscreen, but you do need to remove any screen protectors and enable assistive touch in the accessibility settings to allow you to operate the side buttons while it's in the case. You do however need to push firmly on the membrane for things to work, I also recommend disabling auto lock for your dives, although you can still unlock the phone if you need to. I took these shots alongside a GoPro in the GoPro waterproof case and gives a comparison in quality. I had the GoPro set to a super wide angle and because both my hands were holding cameras, I couldn't zoom out on the iPhone to get the same field of view, but could have if my hands were free. It's also much easier to edit and share your clips on a smartphone compared to the GoPro or any other underwater camera. In these shots, you can see how the GoPro case fogged up and ruined the footage, which would have been gutting if I hadn't also been filming with the C-Touch 4 Max.
So in conclusion, the Divevox C-Touch 4 Max worked perfectly for me and I can't see myself having any issues with it, provided the gel membrane holds up. It is also the only case that allows you to navigate the touchscreen as you would on land. So for me, this was a winner. The full depth of 60 meters is yet to be proved, but since I will rarely exceed 30 meters, I'm satisfied it'll protect my phone enough and do what I need it to do. I hope this video has been helpful in learning how to use your smartphone as an underwater camera. And if not, then hopefully you've enjoyed seeing a little of this beautiful island and some of nature's magnificent hidden gems. Thanks for watching. And I'd be eternally grateful if you would consider subscribing, sharing and hitting that bell button so you get notified of the future videos I release. Have a great day.